mortars and bazooka rounds so that one guy didn't have to carry it all, everybody would bring some. And then when they got into a battle, they would pass it off to the guys that needed it. But everybody had to carry stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, so it wasn't just the stuff that you see here, it was extra, which I don't have, but those are called bandoliers, and that's where you keep your bullets. Oh, so it's like a round? That is like a clip. So you would have those across your chest usually. So you had you had your ammo in here. You also had these. These carried ammo when it went on the belt. They were they were loaded, of course. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ammo. ammo. Yeah, they carried probably about a hundred and it was times eight, so a hundred and around 140 bullets. Grenades. This is called an incinerary grenade. What this would do is you pull the pin out and then you could throw it, say, on this Jeep, and it would melt through everything. It would melt through the motor, it would just destroy it. So it melts metal. It. Yeah. It also has smoke grenades. Isn't this a metal pin though? Yeah, it would melt. Once you activate it, right? When you pull oh, the pin, okay. it would charge it up and then it would. Yeah. Is this like a pistol? There's a pistol in there. This is pretty much most of the stuff. I'd say 80% of the stuff that they had. What did you use rope? The rope was called a letdown rope, and what that would do is if you landed in a tree, mm -hmm. you'd cut yourself out of the tree, and then you could use that to lower yourself down. Oh. After they jumped, a lot of this stuff got thrown to the side. They didn't use the rope, they got rid of that. The, uh, the gas mask bag mm -hmm. has a gas mask in it. They and got rid of that? They got, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. Um, called a gas brassard. It's on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. And if there was gas, if the Germans used gas, this would turn a different color. So then they would know to put the gas mask on. So what happened is once they jumped and they knew that they didn't, that they weren't going to get gas, since that's rubber, they would open that up, throw the gas mask out, and put stuff that they wanted to keep dry, socks, underwear, t-shirts, food, they would, they would cram it in that bag. Where's the rest? This is a cricket. It's a kid's toy. And when they jumped into Normandy, it was at night. So if you were... Everybody was scattered, so say you were over in the trees. I wouldn't call out to you, I would I'd do this. Right? And then you would hear that, and you would know I think it's a you know it's an American, so you would reply this way. And that was the safe way to call out to call out and figure out. But this is a child's toy. That's so cool. Yeah, it's called a cricket. So smart. I think that's it really for the Uniforms. The uniforms are made of um, heavy cotton. It's like wearing jeans. And, and what they did is they had wool pants on, and then these pants over top. So they had a the wool shirt, and pants, and they had this uniform over top. What about the trench coat? That's a rain jacket. Uh, that was usually rolled up and put in the back. It's called a new set bag. stuff got the itch to it, you know, um, they took their wooden pants off, they were uh, nicknamed the Devils in Baggy Pants, yeah, the pants were gigantic, and you had your side pockets, pockets on the, on the hips here, full of stuff, everything was just full, because you got to remember, they were out there, they were supposed to be out there for three or four days. Yeah. They had to have everything. Great. Plant. 
Uh, most of the guys that jumped did not land where they were supposed to. They were a few miles they were scattered everywhere. So guys from different units were fighting together once they found each other. Um, the, all the paratroopers that I spoke with, the two reasons that they joined the paratroopers, one was to fight with the best trained guys, and the second reason, they got $50 more a month. And back then during the war, there wasn't a lot of money, so $50 a month was a lot of money. That was the reason he told me he joined. He wanted the money. Before there was about 650,000 Jeeps made. 1942 really to 1945.